stand out in the annals of the Olympic Games. At 61, the comeback of all comebacks, a jockey and a horse who wouldn't give up. I think one of the main reasons it captured the country's imagination was that basically it had had cancer and the horse had been injured and we both came back 100% on the day. First time I met Aldenit, he was in the paddock at Ascot, and I can always remember saying he'll win a national one day. This was a horse that was bought uh, as a bit of a fun horse, uh, as something to, to, to gallop around on, and then he had about three major breakdowns. The vets did advise to have the horse put down. You know, he was a very, very brave horse and um, kept trying. If you look at the circumstances with Bob, two years before the Grand National, he had been given eight months to live. Now, that taken into consideration is bad enough. When I was told I had cancer, I promise you I was frightened to death. I thought, this is curtains. I just went from feeling well to absolutely ghastly, I must admit, feeling sick and being sick 24 hours a day. What he put himself through in those two years, um, fighting that cancer uh, was so very brave and if he had knocked that sport on the head no one would have criticized him or thought that he'd given up and they're under starters orders for the 1981 national and they're away. prospect of racing throughout the treatment was my main goal and i thought if i ever gave up that prospect i just as well die and over this one sebastian aldaniti and lord gulliver are fallen there the thing about Alderney that made him a great horse was his courage. He was a horse that would gallop until he dropped. Coming to the final fence now in the national, and it's Alderney and Bob Champion in the lead. I can remember jumping the last fence and knowing there was two horses there, and I thought, well, I've got to keep hold of the horse, keep saving a little bit in the tank. And Spartan Messiah is still finishing strongly. It's Alderney though as they come to the elbow. I got to the elbow and I realised the two horses were within half a length to three quarters of a length behind me. If you've ever been to Aintree and, and felt that atmosphere and that, that home straight and the stand and the roar of those people, and it wasn't just because he was winning, it was because they all knew what it meant. When I went by the winning post in front, um, I did think that at least it would give an awful lot of people in hospital a lot of hope. And so a fairy tale outcome to the 1981 Grand National. It really is probably the fairy tale of, of the, the sporting world. 